Okay, let's continue looking at uh, VB Stat 5 exam set from 2018. Uh, we, are, we have now reached uh, exercise 3 in uh, this uh, exam set about uh, flight data. And we are told to use the uh, flight data set from the package New York City Flights for this exercise. There is a spelling mistake in the um, in the handout here. It should not be New York City Flight 13, and you'll see why uh, when we try to install the package in, in just a moment. In the first part of the exercise, we are requested to make a list of the four most used destinations when flying from the JFK Airport. And it should be enough to report the three letter airport codes and it should be given something like with a table like uh, here and from here to, to the next one we should add the real airport name to the answer from A and we should do that by using information in the airport data frame and the output should look like this so let's see how to, to approach this so uh, first of all let's see if we can uh, load our data through the library and it's uh, there's no package uh, named here so let's see if we can uh, install it and here it was so let's take it, it takes just a moment to, to install that's mainly just some data that should be uh, unzipped in, in the proper uh, location and then we're done and now we should be able to, to load the package. Good. And initially we can try to take a look at the flights data set and see um, yeah, what is present here. And by reading the text in the exercise, we should see if we can only look at this uh, flights and the destinations of these flights when flying from the JFK airport. So let's see if we can do that. Um, so by looking into the, the flight data set we can see there is some specification of the time when it should depart and when it actually departed, uh, the delay and arrival time and so on, scheduled arrival time, array delay, who was responsible for the flight, the flight number, tail number, and the origin. That is the airport uh, that the flight is leaving from, and the destination. So we will mainly be interested in, in these two things. So first we can say, okay, we would like to filter these data. So we only have flights that origin from the JFK airport, we should be able to to fill that out by using this uh, filter command. We can see that there are a few other airports uh, present here, and they should not uh, confuse our uh, accounts. So if we fill that, we can now see that all the origins are JFK because we requested it up here. And now we should look at the destinations, um, which de destinations are the most common used. So we can see if we can count based on the observations in the destination column. And now we get um, 70 rows of observations with a combination of an airport code and the number of flights to that. So only a single flight went to this airport and um, to a different airport, Boston, uh, nearly 6,000 flights uh, took place. Um, I would also like to arrange this so we only have the, so we have this in a sorted list, uh, sorted by the number of um, flights. So we'll just put in N here, arranged by this, and ah, okay. I would like to have the city with the most destinations or flights 
at the top, so I'll just use this uh, uh, disk uh, function uh, to ensure that things are in descending order. Here, so if I run this, now we have the the airport with the most destination at top of this list. And finally, we should pick the top four elements that can be done using the top in function, um, which selects the top or bottom n rows uh, according to to their value. So this is what we are left with. with and to make a, a pretty output, we can use this uh, function named a uh, cable. Oh, it's not installed at the moment, but uh, let's do something with that. The um, cable package uh, resides in the NIDA, uh, NIDA package, like this. Now we should be able to, to run it. Good, and we have a fine formatted uh, table here. So far so good. Um, well, actually I uh, just save this result in a variable because we need to continue working with it in the next uh, sub-exercise. Um, destination counts. So now I save the data into this destination counts uh, data frame and afterwards and then uh, show it here. Good. So far so good. So what we need now is to write a small explanation about the um, counts of destinations of what the code actually is doing. Uh, so the flight data set is examined and filtered. So that only um, rows where, where the value of origin is JFK is uh, kept. Then the number of the different destinations. This Nations are uh, counted and finally with the results ordered by the counts. So this is a very short description of what actually takes place here. And it's not final, it then is the results order by them. and finally is the top four counts kept. So now we have described what each of these uh, lines are, are doing. So it's easy to follow what actually takes place here. And then the next would be, ah, uh, here it is. So 3B. What was the head of that? Um, adding airport names. Um, and we can see how we can do this and then add an explanation afterwards. The airport names resides in this uh, frame named airports, and which contains different kinds of information. There is a column named FAA, which is the airport code. There's a name of the airports. There's a latitude and longitude, altitude of the airport and some time zone and yeah. And the time zone, yeah. 
there are different kinds of, of information. And there are many airports, so we don't want to, to show all of these uh, things. Uh, but if we we can suspect that this FAA column contains uh, information about the airport codes that was used in, in the earlier exercise. And one of the, why isn't that shown? Uh, we can see if we can find the LAX um, airport down here. Let's see if it, if it makes uh, sense. So we'll use a filter function and require that FAA is LAX and see what comes out here. And that's uh, Los Angeles International Airport. So that could make sense in, or that makes sense here. So the FAA is what we want to, to merge or use to, to match the airport's data set with our results of the destination count. So the only information we actually need is this FAA and the name. The rest is um, just um, additional information we really cannot use. So I save this into a new variable named uh, airport codes and names, because then I can, can use it uh, in a moment. And finally, I can um, can use this destination counts uh, and merge that using a left join. So I keep everything on the left side, that is the destination counts. And um, add information from a new data frame, that is the airport codes and names, which we just made before. And we can specify how this should be uh, matched up. And here we should state that it should be the destination data frame that should equals uh, FAA data frame here. And if we do that, each line in the original data frame, that is the destination counts, we look for a match between the destination and the FAA value in this airport codes and names. Uh, data frame and then the name is inserted at the end. So here we have it and what we finally miss is this call to, to cable to make it pretty and we can see if we can compile the entire document into a PDF. Um, it's there. So now we can both uh, add airport names and we, well, we miss to, or we like to, to put in a explanation of what actually has taken place here, but uh, we have the, the proper result here. So the explanation here is that uh, by looking at the airports data frame, um, I observe that the FAA code matches the destination uh, value from uh, before. So that the FAA code can be used to identify the name of the airport. airport. New data frame is created containing only the FAA code and the name of the airport. Destination couch from free A is then merged. Is then joined, left joined with the uh, 
was a data frame that was just created uh, before. So now we have a, a short description of what actually takes place here and the exercise has been uh, solved. Okay, that's it.